Hello and welcome to Minecraft server reviews. In this review, we will be taking a look at the server called Mineplex. So let's get into it. Mineplex falls under my category as an arcade server, as it has over 30 games, which most are based on PvP, but they have other games that are non-PvP as well. Most of the games are made to be relatively quick, but some games are made to be longer lasting. One thing that I really like about Mineplex is that they don't just copy games from other servers. They might use the idea of it, but they don't steal it. What they do instead is maybe taking the base idea and making it into their own by changing the gameplay completely and even sometimes changing the base idea a bit so it becomes their version of it, if you will it becomes unique. Which brings me to the quality of their games. Their games are very well developed and were very well thought out. Speaking of gaming experience, let's take a look at lag. Now since lag can really be counted or measured, it's based on my own experience from playing on Mineplex. My experience is that Mineplex isn't really that laggy. I very rarely begin to lag on Mineplex and I even play on the US server while myself living in the EU. And while we are on the subject, they have both servers in the US and servers in the EU. One thing that I do think should be made a little bit better is the player counter in the multiplayer tab. If you have both server addresses in your multiplayer tab, you see the player counter on both of them. It's going to be the same because they take the overall player count of both servers. I would have liked it if they had split those two apart. So if I look at the EU server, I would look, I would see the player amount on that server, and if I look at the US, I would see the player amount on that server. A thing to keep in mind as well is that there aren't always that many players on the EU server. Some games might be empty, and it can sometimes be difficult to play the game that you want to play. Sometimes even impossible because there just aren't any players playing that game on the EU server which is the main reason that I play on the US server. Still talking about technical stuff, how easy is it to find out what to do, how to join, change settings, etc. once you're on the server? I must say, the Mineplex server is one of the most easiest when it comes to joining games and changing settings. Very well organized UIs and overall very user friendly. Also, there are many possibilities of what you can change in your settings. You can turn players invisible in the lobby, change player chat, and many other things. And yes, Mineplex does indeed have a friend system, which is also very easy to use. One thing that I think would be nice is if Mineplex made a way for players on the server to see that there is an online guide on Mineplex's own website where you can find game descriptions, rules and many other useful information that isn't on the server itself. Still talking about technical related stuff, the anti-cheat Mineplex uses is called Gwen. G-W-E-N. It is one they made and develop themselves and in my opinion they do a good job. I don't know much about the anti-cheat, so I won't be saying more about it, since I don't want to give information that might not be correct. Kinda speaking of the Mineplex developers, the Mineplex community is a very nice one. The staff is nice, and the community overall is very nice. In order to become staff, they put you through many things so that not just everyone can become staff. And even when someone gets accepted, they enter, enter a training period where they get trained before becoming real moderators. Mineplex calls the rank they get trainee. Finally, there are online possibilities of ranks and other stuff. Mineplex has kept it simple with only 5 ranks that give bonuses on the server itself. They also have 2 pocket edition ranks. They also have other Bible stuff in the shop to make the gaming experience on Mineplex even more fun. I do think though that they should have other payment possibilities other than just PayPal and Payment Wall. On the server, there are stuff that you can buy in-game with different in-game currencies. That was my review of the Mindplex server, hope it was helpful and hope you learned. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next review. Have a nice day. Bye bye.